like the morning. Um, everyone is still asleep. I'm up very early. Well, early for me, I think it's about 6.30 and that's my day off. This week I've decided that I'm going to try and run every single day because I think it'll be good to do some sort of change in my life. I'm feeling very unhappy in my body and I'm not very good at exercising at the moment. So I just thought seven days will kickstart me into like a, a habit of running or something. I haven't done any proper exercise in a very long time. So this should be fun. <laughs> I'm really feeling unhappy in my physical appearance and I'm getting really unfit. I just, I'm at a point where I want, want to experience some change. So that's what we're gonna do. All right, I'm gonna get going. I keep stopping and walking. We should run. <laughs> There's the sun rising. I fell over. I'm crying. I'm gonna run home because then I can get a hug. I fell over and then I cried because anxiety. Because I don't really use go outside by myself. But there was a nice old lady there who was like, oh darling, I hope you're okay. I did a 3.14k run walk. I didn't run the whole way, but you know, it's my first time running in a long time. So whatever, that, that's fine. My first kilometer was only six minutes 55, but then these two I kept walking. Day one complete. I'm going to climb into bed now and probably cry a bit. Read and drink some water. Hello, this is so flattering. We're on our way home and it's very dark, but I didn't go for a run this morning, so I have to go tonight. I feel really sick, I'm really tired, and I cried a lot on the way home, so that makes me, like, even more tired. Um, but yeah, I thought I'd tell you now, because when we get home, I'll have to go for a run straight away. I did a 15 minute run and upon reflection I really should run in the mornings because running at night time is scary. I did my first kilometer in 8 minutes and then I, I only did 1.8k so I thought I would give you an update on how I was feeling today. My bones are really sore all over but I think that's a good sign and I'm not very good at running. I'm very unfit so I don't even last one kilometer running. So I think my goal for this week is by the end of the week to stay running for one kilometer which may seem very silly for those seasoned runners but I haven't exercised in a long time so I think that's a good goal. My run today, actually on my Fitbit, just counted as a walk. So, but I'm proud of myself for going anyway. This morning when I woke up, I could really feel that my muscles were aching because it's been a long time since I've exercised. But, you know, I've got to start somewhere. Tomorrow I'm going, or I might, probably will, go for a run in the morning because I think it's easier to go then and it's not so dark and it's a good way to start your day and be okay. Yeah. My whole body is like got the sickness aches but also like mixed with the exercising aches I guess. <laughs> so going for a run this morning because last night I realized that's probably the best idea to go in the morning and because it's Luke's birthday let's go for a run
So I think today I might have a walk day because I'm sick and you know, whatever. I'm not gonna beat myself up about it. <laughs> Uh, good morning! I'm really supposed to go for a run before work, but I really don't feel like it. So, I know I said that I should run in the morning, but I'm gonna go after work, so we'll see how that goes. <laughs> Can this count as our walk? <laughs> Can't unless we do a long, long, long walk. Uh, steps. Hardly. This is how he climbed up. Okay. If stand over here. okay, so we went for a walk. It's very little. What do you mean walk? It was a very little walk. We've decided to go for another walk because my Fitbit didn't log it. So let's go! You can go, Lily. What? <laughs> Just got home. We did a 1.95k walk in 25 minutes. Average pace was 12.54 because we didn't run. Hello everyone. Today is day 5 of like exercising I guess because it initially started off as me wanting to run every day but past two days I haven't been feeling the best. I feel like I'm recovered from my cold but right now I'm just feeling a bit down so I'm gonna go for a walk again instead of a run. I feel a little disappointed in myself that I'm not running because that was the idea of the whole week of running thing but it's also good I guess because I'm kicking my habit of not exercising by actually doing something and going for a walk is better than doing nothing so I shouldn't be feeling too angry at myself for not running like at least I'm walking kind of thing just proud that I'm actually doing something <sighs> so let's go for a walk Pretty. It's pretty. There's the sun. I'm home now. I ended up doing a 45 minute walk and the last part I just walked around in circles in my yard because I wanted to stop at 45 equally. This is the squiggles of me walking in my yard. <laughs> So initially I think I started, well for sure I started exercising again because this week I mean I wanted to do the running thing because I was, don't really like my body and I'm feeling really uncomfortable and ugly and it's really like bringing me even lower and um, my self esteem is getting super low, super, super low. So I started exercising because I want to get skinny kind of thing. I've realized that going for walks every day is really helping mental health and it's helping me just be more positive I guess and clear my head. I just think it's good for me on a level above just the like aesthetics of being skinny and wanting to lose weight. I think it's actually good for my mental health as well which is an interesting turn of events because I just wanted to be thin. It's really helping me be kinder to myself and appreciate my body more I suppose for what it does on a daily basis and it's become more it's become more than just losing weight it's more about looking after myself in a holistic and overall type of way. Going for our walk. Wait. <laughs> We're It says 0.5k, half a kilometre. We just got home and it says we did 0.5k, but Lou just said that's not enough. It turns out my phone turned off, the Fitbit turned off when my mum called me. So by estimate, 
Luke thinks we've done 1.5k. Word, it's really annoying that it did that. Um, I don't feel like going for a walk today, but it's the seventh day of seven days of walking. We have to go! <laughs> Stop running in circles around me! <laughs> it's the camera, mate. Um, oh, that's important. Why does everyone get dogs? At the start of the week, I said that I'm going to run one kilometre without a break. Haven't done that. So, Luke's gonna stand at our gate while I run 1.6 and I'm gonna run until. 2.1 Let the wind I can tell you a little story Here she comes Yeah, me ma Oh, shaking These are the statistics for my last run I don't know how fast I ran the 1k at the end because it took it, uh, it's not even numbers from the beginning, so it doesn't work out like that. This is where my heart rate increased. Oh, wait, that's not even heart rate. <laughs> I'm tired. <clears throat> I've got a big jar of water. I got home a little while ago, maybe like 10, 20 minutes ago, and I wrote down some notes about what I've learned from my week of movement i'm feeling proud of doing it for um like even when i didn't feel like it i still went outside yeah i'm proud i stuck to the the seven days i also achieved my goal of running one kilometer without stopping and that was because i pushed myself to do it it was really hard i thought and i felt really like i wanted to stop but i didn't so mind over matter what that showed me was that it's easier to do something if I commit to like a structure of it. Like when I do yoga with Adrian's 30 days of yoga, I know I have to do it every day in order to achieve it, to tick it off. And that's sort of the same thing that happened with my seven days of movement running thing that I did this week was because I made a commitment to it. So I, I really was motivated to achieve it and to kickstart my movement health journey again. <laughs> I noticed that my perspective shifted. I think I mentioned it before. Um, initially at the start of the week, I said I just wanted to do it because I want to get skinny and I want to be more okay feeling, like I want to feel okay in my body and I just don't like the way my body's gone. But then it moved to more of a, I am doing this because I want to nourish myself. So I noticed a shift in my perspective, which was really interesting. Like I just want to, I wanted to keep doing it because it was actually making me feel better and I guess that's the whole point in life. So then I did some a little bit of like research on it and I'm just gonna read my notes out to you. It releases endorphins and serotonin which help improve mood, energy and sleep and then together those help improve self-confidence and resilience. Um, and reducing the feelings of isolation which are all very good in terms of like helping with mental health overall going out and getting some exercise every day really helped to clear my head made me feel more energized and better about myself because i was moving the benefits that i received from it wasn't like oh i look great now i'm really skinny <laughs> it was more like I'm nourishing myself and I have more respect for my body and what it does in the way it is right now, which is great. And um, it was restorative. I find going for walks to be very connecting and grounding and restorative, um, uplifting and clears my mind. And I hope to continue moving because I've realized it really benefits my mental well-being and my physical well-being and my overall wellness. So that's only a good thing. I will see you later. Thank you for watching this video and if you have any running tips let me know. <laughs>